to my channel and welcome back to another video. This video is a grocery haul. I generally do two weeks worth of shopping when I go grocery shopping. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I go weekly. It just depends. But I try to stick to only two weeks so I don't spend too much money. But today's haul is from Aldi's and Walmart both. So I will show you everything that I got. I use the Fetch app when I go grocery shopping or actually um, anytime I buy anything because this, this one's completely online based unless you do have a physical receipt then you just take a picture of it and it automatically uploads it and it is super simple. This time I only got about 350 points which I think equals about 35 cents but it adds up quickly. So make sure and check out my referral link below. You will get a sign-on bonus when you scan your first receipt. It depends. You either get 2,000 or 4,000 points depending on what promo they have going on. But be sure to do that because it's like free money. I think I have been doing it for, um, I don't know, just a few months now. I have around like $35 I think and then you can redeem those points for gift cards and different things like that. So it's super simple. It's easier than a lot of the other um, cash back apps. Also, I had a couple of people ask me whether or not I was still shopping for my mom or my grandma and if I was actually going into the store or just doing grocery pickup at this point. And I am not shopping for my mom and my grandma anymore right now. Um, this is the beginning or um, middle of August right now. And um, I actually have been doing grocery pickup and then going ahead and running in for anything that I may have forgotten. So I felt comfortable enough to do that. Um, however, school's getting ready to start. Cases in Illinois of the coronavirus are starting to increase. So the possibility of me starting to shop for my mom and my grandma is increasing here as of recent. So we will see, but I'll keep you posted on that. I'm gonna show you what I got from Aldi's and Walmart and then I will show you my meal plan for the next couple of weeks. So let me turn you around and show you what I got. All right, so starting with the Walmart haul, this was Walmart grocery pickup. I got all of this on uh, grocery pickup and I will have a link down below if you actually haven't tried it before to where you can get $10 off. Um, just in case you haven't, you know, might as well use the, use the $10 off. But for the non-food items, I usually grab a couple of these. This is the Equate brand and the ointment. I have a nine-month-old baby boy, and um, I usually just grab a couple of these like every time I go because we go through it pretty quickly for, you know, the diaper area and stuff like that. I also went ahead and just grabbed some of this all-day moisturizing lotion. I've used this before, the Equate brand, and it says compare it to Olay Complete All-Day Moisturizing Lotion, and it is pretty good. It's just like an everyday um, sun block face moisturizer. Let me know your favorite facial moisturizer because I'm always looking for something that is like maybe not greasy but moisturizing and then also has some good sun protection as well as doesn't break the bank. Like this was really affordable. I think it was only like six or seven dollars. So let me know down below what your favorite daily moisturizer with sun protection is. And then I grabbed a box of the Meow Mix little single serving cups. These are only 1.3 ounce cups. I sometimes accidentally get the wrong size where they're bigger cups, but these are just really tiny cups. It's almost like a little snack for the cats. I went ahead and grabbed only one of the duck jerky recipes. This is a giant bag. It's like almost $20, but this is the dog's favorite treats ever. And I have three dogs. I have a lab, a shepherd, a German shepherd, and then a German shepherd mix. I also grabbed some of this Persil um, odor fighting laundry detergent. I really like this brand. It's a little bit more expensive, expensive than some of the other brands, but it does a really good job at getting out odors. And I oftentimes will wash the dogs um, towels and bedding and stuff like that when we give them a bath uh, in this odor fighter Persil laundry detergent and then I also grabbed a big bottle of the all free and clear this is for me and baby boys clothes um, he actually has extra sensitive skin so I just wash all my clothes now in scent free laundry detergent and his as well then I also grabbed just one package of the double zipper freezer bags my garden is out of control right now and I'm freezing a bunch of tomatoes for later on when I get enough to um, make some big batches of like salsa and crushed tomatoes and things like that. So I'm just throwing them in freezer bags and throwing them in the deep freeze out in the garage. I also grabbed a six pack of the Sparkle brand paper towels. These kind of have been hit or miss in my Walmart 
I'm afraid that they're gonna start to become a lot more difficult to find but right now I've been usually usually been able to at least grab six rolls at a time it won't let you get more than one so I was glad to be able to get some paper towels anyway and then I actually got this magnifying glass it has a little light on it because this is funny you guys are gonna be like okay um, but you know, I'm an outdoor, outdoorsy, Midwestern sort of country girl, and I just met this woman the other day that is um, basically like raising monarchs, if you could say, on her property. She looks for monarch eggs on the milkweed, milkweed plants on her property, and then takes them and basically keeps them safe until they hatch to caterpillars, until they metamorphose. Um, through the chrysalis stage and then into monarch butterflies because there's only a small percentage of them that actually survive in the wild So I have some milkweed out front and I think that is something that I would totally love to do But it's really hard to tell whether or not it's a monarch egg or Something else so I just grabbed a magnifying glass so I can look at the little white spots on the leaves better Plus my eyesight is starting to fail me as I get older, <laughs> but then I also grabbed a big box of these parents choice um, fragrance free baby wipes like I said baby boy has extra sensitive skin so I just grabbed a big box of those and then I also grabbed some more of these um, all good diapers I have really been liking these better than some of the other brands so I needed another box of those so I went ahead and grabbed those and then moving on to the food items I grabbed a big bag of this eight o'clock coffee they're actually the coffee beans because we grind them every morning it's just a little extra step that makes your morning coffee a little better and then for some condiments I grabbed some hoisin sauce is that how you pronounce it for some spring rolls and spring roll sauce recipe that I'm going to make coming up and then I also grabbed some of the sweet chili sauce um, thinking that might be a good dipping sauce for these spring rolls as well and this was actually a substitution I only had two substitutions and I had gotten the great value chili sauce and they substituted it with the name brand Panda Express chili sauce so that was cool and then my husband needed another bottle of Cholula hot sauce that's his fave so we got that and then for the spring rolls I also grabbed some of this uh, stir fry rice noodles these will go inside the and then I have been trying to find some healthy snacks and some lower calorie snacks because I am still I know I'm like a broken record trying to lose some baby weight and it's just been really difficult but I went ahead and grabbed some of these uh, rice cakes but the little tiny cakes and these are going to be for my salty fix so this is a cheddar flavor and then I also grabbed some of these big rice cakes and the chocolate flavor so I'm hoping that maybe I can have one of these and help curb my my uh, sweet tooth cravings I also have these hold on I'll show you I also have these meal enders um, these are a signaling lozenge that you eat after a meal and it gives you a little bit of sweet followed by like a cleansing sort of minty flavor and these have really really helped um, I'll leave, I have a discount code that I will link below for meal enders these are awesome they have like four different flavors I believe I really like the citrus one this isn't chocolate but they do have some other chocolate ones that are really good but anyway, if you're looking for something to try to help you stay away from the after meal snacking and after meal sweets, you could definitely try these meal enders. And like I said, I will leave that discount code and link below. All right, so then I also grabbed some of these spring roll wrappers. These are for the spring rolls. So this is really interesting. It's it's a uh, an interesting like texture but it says classic Vietnamese rice pancakes for spring rolls so here's an example of a spring roll here but I got these at Walmart they have them there and then oh I grabbed baby boy some of these little crunchies these uh, mild cheddar ones and then the veggie dip flavor these are an easy snack when we don't have anything in the fridge or have anything made that he um, might want to snack on so they also travel really well. I also grabbed one bag of these extra large peeled de vein tail on. I wish they were tail off, but whatever. I'll take them off. Tail on shrimp for these spring rolls. 
I needed a box of elbow macaroni for a recipe. This was the other substitution actually. I asked for a box of the Great Value brand and then they were out of that so they gave me the Barilla brand. So both of those substitutions came out in my favor. I also ordered some of these light and fit Greek yogurts, the banana cream flavor. I have some of the cherry cheesecake or strawberry cheesecake in the refrigerator already, but I wanted something different. Um, so I just grabbed a few of these to eat in between the strawberry flavored ones. And then I grabbed three boxes of these mandarin oranges, no sugar added cups, because my son loves, loves, loves these mandarin oranges. Oranges, He just slurps them right up. So I grabbed him several of those. I also grabbed a package of these individually wrapped cheese sticks. This is Marble Jack. Um, so it's a Colby and Monterey Jack. And these are great for me to throw in my lunchbox and have as a quick snack. I also grabbed some of this cottage cheese. I just get the Great Value brand because they actually have the 1% milk fat kind. Um, some of the other brands don't have the 1%, so I really enjoy this cottage cheese and it has a lot less fat and it's really, really good as a protein source and I love to have this with some crackers for lunch. And then I also grabbed some finely shredded Parmesan cheese. We have a lot of zucchini and a lot of tomatoes in the garden right now. Um, so these, the, putting Parmesan cheese on them um, after you bake them off in the oven adds a little salt and a little crunch to them. So it makes this a really good side dish. And then I also grabbed a large container of sour cream just to keep in the refrigerator. Mike was out of his Oreo coffee creamer. So I got him one bottle of the International Delight Oreo and then I am almost out of my almond creamer, so I, pr I like the almond milk creamer, and I kind of got used to drinking almond milk when I had gestational diabetes because it has a ton less carbs than even fat-free cow's milk does. So I've been really liking this in my coffee in the mornings, um, caramel silk almond creamer. And then for drinks, I grabbed my husband some of this blackberry lemonade drink mix. These are the individual straws. And that is the Great Value brand. And then also um, some Crystal Light. Oh, it says with caffeine, I didn't realize. Um, peach and mango straws. Then for drinks, I grabbed a couple of these six packs of Diet Mountain Dew bottles. I take one of these with me to work and I usually drink it for lunch or have a couple sips on it throughout the day. And then my favorite uh, supper time drink is this Diet Root Beer. I just buy the two liters and um, drink it with my supper and then I grabbed a couple cases of Diet Mountain Dew cans as well. So that is it for Walmart. Now let me show you what I got at right, Aldi's. This is my Aldi's haul and starting off with the veggies and meat I suppose. Um, usually when we go to Aldi's we end up grabbing, sorry the rooster is loud. Uh, we end up gra grabbing some salmon. Usually we get the kind that has the Mediterranean herb seasoning on top. But this time we got the um, just regular Atlantic salmon portion and then also the Atlantic salmon on a cedar plank. Um, so this is really good. We may eat one of these this week and freeze the other depending on the dates or we might have, leave them in the refrigerator. User freeze by 8:17, 8:22. So we could probably save this one for next week and then eat this one this week. But then we also grabbed a couple packages, packages of turkey bacon. This is for BLTs this week or next. And then this is for tonight. We grabbed some of these steamed chicken dumplings. We're also going to have some um, freezer sushi. So that will go with that dinner tonight. Then I grabbed this artisan uh, lettuce mix. There's four heads in here. I don't know. It just looked really good. And it's different. Kind of sick of the same old romaine and iceberg lettuce. And then we grabbed just, just went ahead and grabbed a package of these mini avocados. Um, how many comes in here? There's like two, four. There's six mini avocados in here. We will probably finish these off in this next week. Um, we love avocados, love to have them as a side dish and for a snack. All right, and I grabbed one English cucumber. This is for snacking as well as those spring rolls and then a big bag of regular carrots. I have been getting uh, baby carrots, but I thought these just looked better and um, just grabbed a, haven't had a bag of regular size carrots in a while. Then I grabbed my favorite protein bars these dark chocolate peanut butter, they're the Millville brand. 
They're so good. There's 10 grams of protein and 180 calories per bar. And then I also like this kind, the Greek yogurt mixed berry protein bar, 10 grams of protein as well, same brand. These are really, really good too. And then this is the best granola ever. They have two kinds. They were out of the other one, but this is one flavor. They have the coconut cacao superfood granola. It's gluten-free oats and it has amaranth and millet with sesame seeds. And it's, those are ancient grains. And this is just really, really good. It's also a healthier way to curb your sweet tooth and it's great in yogurt as well. And then this is for an on-the-go snack for me. These little trail mix packs, the sweet and salty, so there's some M&Ms in there plus some raisins and some sunflower seeds and peanuts, maybe even almonds too, um, but these are great and easy to throw in my lunchbox for a quick snack during the work week. And then my husband grabbed these almonds. Aldi's has a good variety of flavored almonds and they are pretty affordable too. Wasabi soy, just regular roasted almonds with sea salt and then also the hickory smoke flavor. And then we also grabbed several bags of this um, rice and different grains. So this is microwavable 90 second barley and lentils. This is not, micro or it's not the microwavable pouch anyway, but lentils, rice, and quinoa. Rice, split pea, and quinoa. And then the 90 second microwavable um, farro. So those will be good for side dishes for some dinners throughout the week. And then I also just grabbed one package of cilantro. This is for a recipe as well as um, the spring roll recipe. And then I grabbed one head of cabbage. This is also for the spring rolls and other recipes too for the week. And then these are like my best find at all these lately. Um, I'm, it's not new or anything. I'm sure they've had these for a while, but they are so good. These garlic knots, you can just um, throw this in the oven and serve them um, from this bag. But what we have been doing is freezing them and then just taking out like between two and four to have for dinner so that we don't eat the whole bag. And um, I believe there are, well, there are eight knots in this bag. So these are really, really good. And then we needed a package of tortilla shells. We eat a lot of tacos and fajitas and um, a lot of different types of wraps. So I grabbed a large burrito size. I also grabbed like four sweet potatoes, something different and healthier that I can have for a side dish at night or also throw in my lunch box too. I really, really like sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna roast those up. And then my husband grabbed these, these salsa ranch and guacamole ranch flavored salad dressings. So these would be great for salad dressing as well as dipping sauces too. And then I've been, really been liking cold brew coffee lately. So I found this at Aldi's. It's uh, the Stoke cold brew coffee. Um, let's see, it says 10 hour brew. I don't see anywhere where it says it's concentrated. All right, so I don't see where it's concentrated or anything, so this must just be um, already, like, diluted. So um, that's probably why it was a little bit cheaper because it's not the concentrate. So this bottle is what you get. I'm sure you could cut it back a little bit because it says it's bold. So I'll try that out. And then these are, like, my favorite potato chips ever, and they come from all these, these lattice cut potato chips. They have two flavors. This is the aged in cheddar and aged cheddar and black pepper. I just love these. They are so good. They're kind of like a specialty potato chip. And then I was out of spray or out of a nonstick spray and I grabbed the canola spray this time. Sometimes I get the olive oil, but um, in a video coming up here this week, I have made a bunch of different air fryer recipes and cooking spray is definitely something that comes in handy when you're using your air fryer. But I had ran out and um, I have always been wanting one of these Misto like oil sprayers because it doesn't have any aerosol or um, any of the propellants. You add the oil yourself. Um, this one is the Misto brand. It's a well-known brand for this type of thing. So it's a gourmet olive oil sprayer. I'll link it down below if you're interested in trying it. I've wanted one for a really long time. I just haven't done it, but this is gonna be great for the air fryer. So like I said, I'll link it down below if you're interested. Then I also grabbed some of these apple and banana 
squeezable fruit blend pouches. These are for my son, and I'm not sure if he'll like them or not, but they're the Simply Nature brand, and um, they are pretty healthy, made from real fruit, no corn syrup or high fructose corn syrup. Um, so we'll see if he likes these. He's into trying a lot of different foods right now. And then this is for him for snacks, these crispy oats, whole grain cereal. So they're kind of like the Aldi's version of um, Cheerios, but they are a healthier version. And then grab some of these pita chips. These are like a staple now for us that we get from Aldi. Aldi's. They're great to dip into hummus or great to have with cottage cheese or chicken salad or other salads like that. And then we we're out of crackers or like the round crackers. So I went ahead and got the wheat version this time. Um, these are pretty good, very comparable to the name brands and they're very, very cheap. So we really like these. And I think that's it. I guess that's all we got from all these. All right, and then for my meal plan for the next couple weeks, I'm out of my meal plan sheets. I need to print some more out and cut them down. Um, so I just made it on a note page here. So for this week, um, starting off with Sunday, which is tomorrow, I have all of the ingredients that we need to make some shrimp, sh shrimp, some shrimp spring rolls. So we're going to try that for tomorrow night. And then Monday night, I thought we'd have BLTs, and then I was trying to think of a side, and we have a bunch of sweet corn that a coworker um, shared. So we're gonna have BLTs and some sweet corn. And then Tuesday, we'll have some of that salmon from Aldi's with some of the sweet potato that I got, roasted sweet potato up. Wednesday, we're gonna have chicken enchiladas. My husband makes this concoction in the crock pot, and um, then we put it on tortilla, sh tortilla shells. And it's really, really good. So we'll have chicken enchiladas. And then Thursday, stuffed peppers. The garden is definitely full of green peppers. And uh, my mom makes great stuffed peppers. So I always pick a bunch um, in the summer. And she will make a bunch of um, stuffed peppers. So we'll have those Thursday night. And then Friday, we'll, left, we'll have leftovers. The leftovers night may move to... Um, I, you know, it could move up or down, but then Saturday, instead of cooking, we will eat out. Then moving on to the following week or the following weekend, um, starting on Sunday, burgers and sweet corn. That is a great weekend meal and we've got all that sweet corn. So definitely want to utilize that. And then I have a ton of stuff for these spring rolls. So I thought we would have that again. If not shrimp, we can make either just veggie spring rolls or um, oh chicken spring rolls, but I think I have plenty of shrimp for that. And then Tuesday, I thought we'd have spaghetti and some garlic knots. I don't know what we'll spaghetti or um, some other use uh, some other type of noodle, maybe that elbow macaroni, um, so like a spaghetti goulash type meal, but. Um, also with those garlic knots and then Wednesday I thought we would have some crispy chicken salad that is some crispy chicken frozen crispy chicken that I get from Aldi's and I crisp that up or cook it I guess and crisp it up in the air fryer and then it, it does not take long at all and make a salad chop it up and um, use that as the protein on the salad it's really really good and then Thursday I thought we would have something different um, some red meat have the Mongolian beef or Mongolian venison. In our case, it's probably what we'll have. And it's so, so good. Just throw some vegetables in with some um, venison and then this really yummy sauce. It's really good. And then again, Friday leftovers, but that could move. And then Saturday, eat out. No cooking on Saturday. All right, so that is all for my Walmart and Aldi grocery haul and meal plan. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the Fetch app for your free money. I'll leave that code down below so that you get an extra, um, it's like two or 4,000 points depending on what the promotion is. And anything else I mentioned, I'll link below too. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.